Hey, what's up? This is for the uh, Blast It or Stash It Summer Contest. Um, just want to show my support for those uh, for those cool cats on that channel. So for their contest, uh, we gotta draw them as superheroes. Uh, draw their costume, their abilities, weaknesses, their headquarters and transportation, and a butler if you want. So um, before I get on. Uh, uh, be <laughs> Before I talk about the uh, the characters, uh, first of all, I'm a huge, huge Garth Ennis fan. He's my favorite writer of all time. So these characters are Garth Ennis inspired. So um, uh, they're just uh, I'm not trying to be mean or anything. This is just me having fun, and I hope you guys will like it. Um, I put some work in it, and, and um, I, I don't really just draw for anybody. Um, oh yeah. So before, um, so this okay. This is um, uh, so the first character is. Huey. Um, before I like drawing, I like to draw some head sketches to warm up and you know get a good uh, a good feel for the subject for the character uh, that I'm drawing. So this uh, so Huey's comics uh, first, and you are you are the whip. All right. So uh, oh, before I, I explain about the characters, you guys are an alien race called the Dominators. Kind of like, you know, Fifty Shades of Grey, Dominatrix, stuff like that. Leather, you know, <laughs> chains, whips. Um, from the planet Dominatrix, you guys travel the universe, dominating people all around the universe, dude. If You know, villains, heroes, whoever, man. Whoever needs dominating. So, um, you are the leader of the group. You're like, a, basically, you're like Thor. But um, instead of Mjolnir's hammer, you have the... The mystical whip, the the whip is like Mjolnir and the Last of Truth put together. Um, you just have this ability to whip the shit out of people and uh, whip them to submission, dude. So that's that's it's a badass whip. Uh, and you know, obviously you're you're strong as well. You have some strength, but this is all you're wearing, dude. So uh, leather shorts and um, leather uh, what was that cop hat, policeman hat. And yeah, dude, so I figure I'd draw a hook for a hand because I felt like you needed some kind of accessory because um, you're like almost naked, dude. So yeah, that's you, bro, the whip. Uh, again, I, I, I need to draw headshots uh, before warming up and stuff to get a feel of the subject. Uh, next uh, character is uh, Spectacular Spider Grandpa. Um, uh, is this the right one? Yeah. Okay, so Spider Grandpa, you are Bondage Man. <laughs> Bondage. Again, this is uh Garth Ennis in inspired characters. You are Bondage Man. You you are you are always bondaged, bonded 24-7, and you, you'd rather have it that way. For some reason you perform everyday tasks um a better extremely better than people who are aren't bonded who aren't cuffed and whatnot um so you guys you have like a, a magical kind of chain uh kind of like spawn spawns chain ghost riders chain or uh, dr strange's cloak that you choke the shit out of people uh do some jujitsu movie you strangle people choke choke the shit out of people you know your chains uh have a they have a life of their own and Kind of like, um, you know, like Spawnscape, stuff like that. So, that's uh, Spider Gramps. Next is um, Midwest Comics. Uh, Midwest Comics, yeah, I think you, you were the most, a little bit more difficult uh, kind of reference because most of your videos, man, um, kind of blurry. Uh, your face was kind of blurry well, my, on my screen anyways, but... Uh, I had trouble kind of referencing your face, but uh, I, I think um, it, it was all right though. So you are, <laughs> you are the gerbil, bro. Uh, so basically, you have uh, a gerbil head on a like a human a humanoid body, wearing a business suit. Gerbil head and a business suit. So I got this idea from uh, that Richard Gere incident. Uh, back in the 90s, I believe I was I was too young, but I, I kind of remember what happened. 
So Richard Gere was experimenting with, uh, uh, yeah, a gerbil, sexual experimentation. Like he put a gerbil up his ass, I believe, up his ass, and he had to go to the hospital to get it removed. But uh, your abilities is um, <laughs> you crawl up people's asses, dude, and you mind control them. You crawl up people's asses. Yeah, you, you could either mind control them or um, make them explode, dude. So it's a very, very, one of the more powerful characters, bro. I call him, yeah, Gerbil. And uh, last but not least, um, Trinity Comics. Um, you are, um, this, okay. You are Ball Gag. <laughs> Um, so you're like the muscle of the group, dude. Um, you, based since since you uh, you like DC comics, you're this is like kind of like Bane, but instead of Bane's mask, it's a ball gag, dude. And your ability, I mean, super strength, but your ability is like you can like for some reason you have like this unlimited supply of ball gags, dude. And um, that's your ability, other than super strength. And you just shove it up people's faces, their pie holes, and they explode, or you know, they you just you beat them up that way, bro. Um, this is a ball gag. Um, oh yeah, so you guys, your guys, uh, you guys have the same um, weaknesses. Weakness. I I really couldn't come up for, uh, come up for weakness, so I just put it. Uh, mathematics. Math is your weakness. All you guys, you guys hate math. Essentially, <laughs> you guys hate math. If somebody asks you a, a mathematical equation, you guys just crawl up into uh, the fetal position, you know, crying like a baby because you, you're having a hard time figuring out the equation. But that, I don't know. Yeah, that's your guys' uh, stuff. So, um, the kiddos, they jumped in on the uh, the drawing too. So my daughter and my son contributed to the uh, my entry. So my son drew your guys' uh, team logo. Dominators. Um, that's his name, Makana. And your guys headquarters. My daughter so my daughter drew a haunted house. The pumpkins. That's your guys headquarters, a haunted house on top of a hill. And uh, your butler, I guess it's me. That's me right there. I'm your butler. I guess you know a YouTube channel to be a butler. That's me. And your mode of transportation is a se well my daughter spelled it wrong segwa segwa it's supposed to be a segway they call it um was it paul blart mall cop those two wheel two wheelers those security guards ride that's you guys <laughs> that's you guys transportation dude um well yeah again um that's uh, that's my entry um, hope you guys like it and um, yeah man uh, it was super fun and um, yeah man hope I win <laughs> the prizes is, is uh, sounds really cool dude so uh, again it's a really cool contest um, and yeah guys keep up the good work late